So today we're gonna to be taking a closer look at this smart bird feeder. This thing is incredible. Uh, this is what it looks like right out of the box. I'm gonna be going over everything you need to know, including how to assemble it and then all the different features. So you can see here, this is what it looks like when you get it out of the box. You have the camera right here. Um, you have the actual feeder and then a couple of different parts. You have a mounting bracket in case you wanted to drill this to a post or to a tree, uh, or you also have the other option to strap it around. So there's two different options. If you don't wanna drill into something, you could use this to strap this around it um, and then you have the actual uh, roof, which is great because you can see here it has these solar panels, which means it will charge the camera uh, and you don't have to worry about going through and charging it every day or every night or whatever it may be. And uh, But in case you did want to go through and charge it, say that it was going to be a really cloudy day and you weren't going to get a ton of sunlight, it does come with a USB um, charger as well if you needed to use that. I imagine most of the time though, the solar is going to have you covered. So looking at this, in order to get this started, you'll notice here that we have the camera. This It comes inside just like this. The first thing that you're gonna wanna do is open this up and you can see that we have the camera itself. There's this little rubber door right here. We're gonna open that up and you can see this is where we're gonna put the SD card and then there's also an on and off switch. If for whatever reason you ever needed to reset, restart the camera, it does come with this nice little uh, restart, restart button thing here. You can go and restart it if you needed to. But we're gonna grab this. It comes with a 64, I believe it's 64, 64 gigabyte uh, little SD card here, which is great. That's like a great value um, little case. And we're gonna stick this just inside here. You can see it has an arrow which way you need to stick the SD card. Just gonna stick that inside there just like that. You can see it fits nice and snug. And then we're gonna put this back on to help keep it waterproof, which is great. I'm going to turn it on for now as well because I'm gonna show you exactly how to set this up. You can see, then we have this little flashing light. And then from this point, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your phone, grab your phone, and you can either scan right here to start downloading the app, or in the back, you can go through and download the app, where you can go through and get the app. I'm gonna come back to the app here in a minute, but I do wanna show you how to set up the hardware. So we have this all right here. What you want to do is you can see that this kind of uh, this kind of swivels. So if we swivel this up and over, it has this little thumb screw that we can go through and put on there. And it's hard to see here, but there's a screw right here. And then on the back of this camera, there's a little screw. So what you do is you just slide it in just like this. And then from here, you can go through and actually attach this to the feeder itself. So very, very uh, well designed. See, it's very easy to just grab this, screw that in there, just like that. And that what this allows you to do is to adjust the camera angle in case you wanted it to be higher, lower. You can see there's a lot of mobility here. And then from this here, you can see on the top right there, there's a little place for you to plug this in. And this is going to later plug into our roof where we have the solar panel, which will go through and charge the camera itself. The next part is just the actual uh, little ledge itself. This is super easy. All you need to do is put it in right here and then screw in on the bottom on both of these. There's a couple screws where you just go and screw them in right there. As far as the roof goes, in order to put this on, a quick little trick is that in order to put it on, you don't want to go and try and snap it on from the back. There are little lips right here, these little edges that slide right onto the top. So how you want to actually put this on is you want to have it face down so that this part is in the back and can latch on right here. Put this face down and you want to align, let's see if I can get a good, you see these little holes right here? You want this, you want these, these right here to go into there. So we're gonna just grab this and slide it on like that. You can hear that little pop. And then from here, you can open and close this. And what's great about this is this allows you to put the feed in the bottom right here very easily, even when it's mounted. And then in order to close it, you just put it all the way back and then it snaps there. If you ever wanna get access to it, all you need to do is flip this open and now you have access to the feed. Oh, and also don't forget to obviously plug this in before you do go through and shut it. So this is the solar pad. This is what gives the camera itself batteries. So we've got that there. Now mounting this thing is really quite easy. They have this nice little drill sticker which allows you to go through and pre-drill um, your hole so that you can go through and mount this up. So we're gonna go through and do that. Like I said, you could go with the option with using the this little latch if you wanted to, uh, instead of actually drilling. Um, once we have that up, then we'll, I'll show you how to mount it using uh, mount the actual birdhouse onto the mount. So once you have the mount on, it's as simple as grabbing this and putting it on just like that. And from here, we're gonna grab this little piece right here. You want the uh, flat side facing up. And then you're just gonna go through and you see this little hole right there. We're gonna match it up with this hole right there. I'm just gonna slide that in there. And you can see then there's just three screws that we're gonna go through and screw on to mount it onto the bracket. Now we have it all mounted. Put in the bird feet. 
that all the way up there. Just like that. And we'll shut this. And now we are ready to capture some footage of some birds. And as you can see, this is what the app looks like. It has a nice little picture here. You can go through and see the playbacks on when motion happens. You can also do one-way talk, which is kind of awesome, and capture pictures and look up specific birds as well. So lots of cool things with this app.